Trace, I've got a few things to tell you. Um, it's about that thing you were talking about the other day. I know you might be a little bit embarrassed, but I, I think I found some answers for you. Oh, good. Hey everybody, welcome to D News. I'm Trace. And I'm Karen, and today we are talking about sperm. Little soldiers, swimming friends, faithful gametes. Well, not always. There are several lifestyle factors that can negatively affect sperm morphology. Now, the good news is that since you males are constantly whipping up new batches of the stuff, it's possible for them to reverse some damage that's already been done. Damage? Oh, just that. I gotta make a call. Actually, the results of a new study just released from the University of Exeter show that Keeping your cell phone in your pants pocket is not really a good idea. I'll just leave this here then. Both sperm motility and viability were significantly reduced in men subjecting their testicles to uh, radio frequency electromagnetic radiation from their phones. I do have like a like a fanny pack, or maybe I could get one of those over the shoulder bags, you know, oh, like a man yeah. bag. That's a great. You know, you could use mine. Let's take mine. Oh. This is nice. Now that I'm safe, let's get down to brass tacks. I have a bit more bad news. The results of the world's longest study on sperm morphology show that cannabis use is a major predictor of sperm abnormalities. Yep, you heard me right. Pot users' sperms are couch locked too. Researchers took sperm from almost 2,000 British dudes and examined it. It turns out that the males with funky ejaculates were more than twice as likely to have used cannabis in the last three months prior to getting their rocks off. Now, the good news is the research didn't find any correlation between cigarette smoking, alcohol consumption, or the type of underwear worn by the study subjects. Oh, good. Hang on. Let me make another call. Yeah, you know, I still want those. Yeah, the bikini ones. Thanks. Although previous studies have reported a correlation between moderate alcohol consumption and increased numbers of morphologically abnormal sperm. Other factors that may or may not be important in the generation of abnormal sperm include time of the year, city, age, time since last ejaculation, stress, weekly working time, occupational posture, age of leaving school, chemical exposure, and current weather. So, you know, I I'm not sure if you're gonna win this one. That's a lot of stuff. I think I'll just get a cat. Oh, that's a good idea. What do you think of all this? Are you gonna find a new place for that cell phone or change your smoking habits? Tell us in the comments below and be sure to subscribe for more exciting D-News stories. 